good morning everyone well it's about 6 30 in the morning 13th of november 2023 i haven't used george over the weekend so it'll be interesting to see how he runs because obviously we change that coil. Right, I'll just swap over cameras now and we'll see how we get on. Ignition's on. Definitely going to need some choke. And we're a fire up. Lights on. See how we get on this morning. Definitely not as cold today as I had spent. If it went up rain, that seems to warm up a bit. Which is all good. Oh, what a wet day we've had. It's actually almost stopped at a minute, but it's been coming down pretty hard this morning. So the camera fell off the window on the way in, and I don't know when until I look at the footage when it actually fell. It might have been straight away, or it might have been when I was almost here. But. So I'm now heading back to mine. Still actually, I'm going to go pick up Gemini and then I'll be going back to mine. And then I'll show you something I bought for George, which hopefully get time this week I'll make a start on the job I need to do it's going to end up a biggish job really but we'll talk about that when I get back to mine and I'll show you what I've got So we'll fast forward from here until after I've got Gemini and I'm on the way back. Okay guys, so we just picked up Gemini and I'm just got ahead and get some petrol to put in a can. Yeah, I need to get a can of fuel. I'm going to mix up some two-stroke oil with that for a leaf brower. But that's another thing. Well, I made a video the other day uh, changing the coil again because George had broken down the coil had given up like I said then I don't know uh, whether that coil was an old one or what and I'd already changed it from a car years ago so we've got the new one on It's 
been running fine. If you saw the weather this morning, then you'll know it's running fine. Well, yo, so I'm just going to go and pick up this fuel. And then I'm heading back to mine. And as I said in the last video, I'll have something to show you. Something I bought for George, and something I've also brought for the bus. Hopefully, I'll make a start. It's actually warming up nicely. Hopefully I'll make a start of one of them this week. Probably George, I want to get this job out of the way. But you'll see more about that when I get back to mine. It's a bit blustery today, as I said earlier. There's a storm again. Storm Debbie, this one. They've had some really heavy rain earlier, and now it's just every now and again quite strong winds. They say up 50, 60 mile an hour, but don't feel that bad. But depending on where you are, other places. Parts of the country are probably got a fairly windy again. is almost open. Two more days and this one will be open. Which will be handy for people who live on this side of last stop. So we've got north and south and there's two on the south side and just this one's going to be on the north side. So I'd say that'll be handy for people and also we've got Pleasurewood Hills just up the road there, the Bean Park. That's why all these cars and vans are parked here. Everyone getting ready. So when people go to the theme park or come out from the theme park, they can grab a McDonald's. They'll probably even pop out and get one. Audio, just go fill the can up. Right, so we got the fuel. And I put exactly five litres in the can. I like to do that because it makes it easier when it comes to mixing the oil in for the two stroke. I think the leaf blower is 30, 33 to 1, something like that, if I remember right. And Five litres uh, E5 is exactly eight pound. So obviously it's eight pound a gallon now to fill. Expensive to do now, running cars, motorbikes, machinery. Makes you wonder why. Everything's so expensive. If you add into all the fuel costs, uh, deliveries, supermarkets, whatever. Yeah. Be a warm wind coming up. And 
know this is not probably a very interesting video of just driving in George to pick up some fuel. Craggy. But um, it's a chance to get to see George is still running okay. He's running quite well actually, the best he's run for a long while. And also I've got these bits to show you. Which like I say, hopefully we get them all sorted. Maybe towards the end of this week I'll make a start on one of the jobs. No when George is firing properly. I can go this slow and pull away in third gear, no problem. When he starts to misfire, you can't do any of that. Sometimes when I jump in my wife's car, I nearly put it through the window when I put the brake on. That's surely because the brakes are so much bad, servo assisted where these aren't. But like I say, George is not that bad. Well, back at mine jump out, I'll take Gemini in and then I'll show you what I've got to be getting on with. There we go, we're back in mine. Go down to the garage. Check the fuel and I'll show you what I've got. For now, there's the bus. I still got stuff underneath from when I did the last job and not put stuff away yet, but we'll get round to that. Right, so in the back here, as you can see, we've got two boxes. So this one, I'm not going to open this yet, I'll open this one another day when I get round to doing that job. But in there, we've got a nice diesel heater, Chinese diesel heater for the bus, which I need to get in ready for early next spring when we start going away in the bus. So we'll see how that run. I ain't got no idea where I'm going to put it yet. I've seen loads of videos of people putting them in things. A couple in these buses. Um, and I'm going to look around for somewhere to put it in Bertie Bus. Not sure where yet. But for now, this is what I've got for George. Ta da! A bottom end gasket which is a sump gasket like two it comes in like three bits of sump gaskets two sides and then the ends of these cork gaskets 
and I think on George we've got a leak on these corks where it goes round which I'll show you when we do it I know I'm never gonna ever stop the leaks on George because as we all know they haven't got a proper seal on the rear of the engine it's got a seal here for the front on the timing chain cover so we'll be doing that at the same time and also we've got the gaskets here for those little side inspection plates where the breather is I did make a paper gasket for those when I had them off when I was checking they weren't blocked and cleaned them out so I can replace them and the main thing is the sump gasket I want to replace that's the timing cover gasket there there the two halves of the sump gasket and these are the ends we'll get some decent sealer and we'll whip that sump off and put that on and I might even take the front off and do that I might as well do this at the same time I don't think it's pouring out from the front seal but Bins have got it, I might as well do it. And that, hopefully, will be towards the end of the week. I'll get on with that. Great. So that's going to be about it for now. It's got out quite nice now. I'd have liked to have done it now, but I just didn't got the time. I've got other things to sort out. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.